Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for February 2022. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. In the next video I'll be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the asset in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, one quick note here. Usually in these videos I hide the prices for the assets. I do that for two reasons. One, it's because the price is local, so what I see on my screen over here in Portugal is different to what someone in the US or in India would see. And secondly, because assets go on and off sale, so sometimes when I record these videos, the assets are still having their launch discount, which will likely be over by the time the video is published. So for those two reasons, I tend to hide the price to avoid showing you any incorrect information. So pretty much, if you like the asset, you just click on the link to check the price in your own country at that exact time. But I have gotten several comments that seem to think there's some nefarious reason for why I do that. I don't even really know what possible evil reason I could have for hiding the prices, but regardless of my intent, some people think it's shady. So I guess if I have to choose between people seeing prices that are somewhat incorrect or having people assume that I'm doing something with evil intent, I guess I'll go with the first option. So all of that to say that I will no longer hide them, so be aware that the prices and discounts that you see in the video are not necessarily what you will see when you click on the asset link. Alright, so starting off with an interesting tool for iterating upon your animations. It makes playing with IK super simple, just move some sliders and easily move arms and legs or anything. Now this is not a tool for making animations from scratch, instead it's for starting from something and making some changes to get the exact animation you want. So for example you take a walking animation to create a walking tightrope animation, or maybe an idle animation and you make it idle but carrying a box. It's a really nice tool for your animation toolbox. Then here's one that is extremely important called Feedback Pro. Getting feedback from your players is essential to making a great game. Usually people handle that by asking the players to send an email, but no one really does that. So this one is a super useful window that you can place directly in your game. And then it just sends all of the data to wherever you want. You can easily include a screenshot and system info along with any other game data you need. It's all very well documented and you can export that data to anywhere you want, something like Discord, Slack or just JSON. If you want to have some great looking UI shadows, look at this one. The built-in UI shadow is nice, but it's very simple. It's a solid shadow just rendered on all four sides. This one is much, much softer. Works on all shapes and sizes. And you can also change the color to make it look like a glow instead of a shadow. Then over here is an interesting one. It's all about hiding data directly inside an image. I believe this is called steganography. It's a fun concept and this asset makes it easy to use. This can be especially great for modding. So you can encode the mod data directly inside the mod screenshot and then you can easily share that image so that anyone can load that mod. Also the UI for some reason reminds me of old school Steam, so that's fun. Next up, if you want to place down some buildings, kind of like playing The Sims, check out this one. You can place down walls, floors, doors, windows and more. You can swap out the modular parts with your own custom ones. Also the developer says this is pretty much in early access. The basics are there, but it will keep getting updates over time. Then if you want a complete game template, here is a colony simulator. It's packed with tons of features. It's got building, crafting, resource gathering. There's equipment and weapons. There's objectives, tech trees, factories and tons more. So if you want to make a quick prototype, then this can be quite useful. Or maybe you have a 2D game and you want to have some destruction, then here is Sprite Breaker. A while ago I covered Rayfire, which is an excellent destruction tool. This is kind of like that, but for 2D. Break any sprite you want into as many pieces as you want. You can slice them automatically or manually define the slices. And it automatically applies physics to all the parts so everything falls apart. Then if you want to make some procedural buildings, look at this one. You can create any shape, apply whatever modifiers you want to get the windows, doors and lights. So you can make some modern skyscrapers or some really fancy buildings. By just using the included demo assets, you could already create a very massive, very convincing city. Up next, here's a simple one for analyzing the size of your project. You can easily find which files are taking the most space, so you can either remove them or compress them. It's one of those that does just one thing and does it very well. And for another complete game template, here is an RPG editor. This one is version 3. It's been in development and getting constant updates ever since 2010, so it's really solid and packed with tons of features. Experience turn-based battles or real-time combat. It's got all of the systems you expect, quests, factions, loot, research, and more. 
features extensive documentation and some tutorials to easily get started. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity SSR for February 2022. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.